Debbie Hines. She's a trial lawyer and former prosecutor for the city of Baltimore. Debbie, welcome to the program. Thank you. Um, Cohen's guilty plea, Manafort's guilty conviction. The question everyone is asking, how will this impact the president of the United States, Donald Trump? Well, it's already impacting him, even though he doesn't want to say that it is. But if I were Donald Trump, it's like someone breathing very heavily down your neck. That's how close Robert Mueller is to him right now. His campaign chair has been convicted. And it's a question. They're weighing their options. It's a question of if Paul Manafort does want to give up something in order that he does not have to face another trial. And then you have Michael Cohen, who is basically waving his hand and saying, pick me, pick me. I have a lot to tell you, even more. Do you believe, though, that this, in fact, was the tipping point for Donald Trump? I think we're close to the tipping point, because you're asking me to get into the mind of Donald Trump, which, of course, I cannot do. But I think we're very close to the tipping point, And I believe that there is more. This was so strategically planned with not only the guilty plea, but doing it on the same week that the jury verdict was expected. After a 12-hour silence, Nathan, our correspondent, was reporting this from the White House. President Trump was back on Twitter, attacked Cohen, praised Manafort. Um, what do you think the White House strategy is? And again, I don't want you to put yourself in the White House mindset, but is it basically to portray one man as a liar, the other oh. as a victim? Exactly. I mean, that's what he's saying. Oh, Manafort, it's a 12-year-old case. Well, you know, the law really doesn't distinguish. If you can still bring the case within the statute of limitations, it doesn't go away. But he's trying to say, here we have a tale of two people. One wants to basically sing loud as a bird, and the other one is as quiet as a church mouse. But at the end of the day, they're both close to Donald Trump, and they're both now convicted felons. I find it remarkable that Cohen actually admitted that he broke the law and testified that he did it at the direction of Mr. Trump. The president has suggested here, oh, campaign uh, finance violations, they're not a crime, no big deal. Well, they're acting like a campaign finance violation is like jaywalking, getting a ticket for jaywalking. But it's not. But it's not. It's absolutely not. And that's why Michael Cohen, for not just for that charge, but for the other charges, the accounts that he's pled guilty, he pled guilty and is facing five years in prison. So it's not like a little, a little teeny tiny something. And the fact that he has said that the unindicted person who was running for presidential office is the one who told him to do it, that makes um, Donald Trump be a co-conspirator. And I think it's important to point out that neither of these men have directly, directly been linked to any collusion or to Russian interference in the 2016 election. So having said that, Debbie, how much of a victory is this with Manafort or Cohen for Robert Mueller? Oh, it's a huge victory. I mean, it would have looking at it at the reverse, it would have been I would have been tremendous if it had been an acquittal on all 18 charges. The prosecution doesn't care. I'm a former prosecutor whether it was 8 charges that he was found guilty of, 10 charges he was found guilty and is facing 80 years. So it is substantially. And it's just a building a case. So we don't know yet how much Robert Mueller is holding back cuz he holds his cards very close to the vest, to his chest. So we don't know yet, but I tell you, I think that there's a lot more to come. And very quickly, do you believe the President of the United States, down the road, will in fact be impeached? I think we're heading in that direction. I think that there has already been enough for him to be impeached if the Republicans had done anything with respect to it. All right, we'll leave it there. Debbie Thank Hines you. answering some very tough questions. Thank, Thank you, you so much.